And we're back. <laughs> Johnny, man, you make your way the whole day. You waited the whole day. That's if we remember to post this. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Dane Jackson is my favorite Bill right now. And he's been my favorite Bill for quite some time. This is this no has been a long, this has been a long thing, a long time coming for me. So I love to see Dean Jackson play on Sundays. The downside is Dean Jackson is ineligible to play on Sundays moving forward. So we have a bit of what we call Sorry, I'm just watching the nation while you keep Fawning over Dan Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> for a seventh round, or for, I'm sorry, excuse me, for a guy who, who should have been, you know, who should have been ready. Like, he should have, he should have been ready. Yeah. Right? Is it the, should have been is it the system that why he's being successful? Or is it just the It's the dude, the man. It's the dude. It's, we're talking about a, a, a former captain. Like, this is, this I is what the they, dude, man. <laughs> You can call me, Al, Al Dunarino, whatever your brevity is. I <laughs> love the big Lebowski. He's a former captain. Yes. At, at a, a decent sized school. Like, Pitt is a no joke school, right? They've like, won national titles in the past. I mean, right. If you go to Pitt, you're playing very competitive. You, it's not. It's not Toledo? It's not Toledo. Who went to Toledo? Reggie Gallo. Oh, he went to, did he go to Akron? No, no, he went to Toledo. Went to Toledo. I know how you, you you try to make it a point to mention the Akron Zips as many times as you can. Because it's the stupidest name in football. I'm not gonna. Maybe argue that. not. There's probably stupider ones, but that one's pretty stupid. In any no, case, I mean. <laughs> in any case, Dane Jackson's ineligible to play. Do you know why? Because he has been due to due to the new rules due to the pandemic. You can call up a practice squad player two times without penalty of what is it again? waivers. Penalty of waivers. Right. Okay. You can call him up twice without subjecting him to waivers. Right. And waivers obviously is when the player goes out. Any team can pick him up. Now, normally practice squad, mm -hmm. any team can sign a player off the practice squad. Any team can sign an, any player off another team's practice squad. That's totally the way that it works. Go ahead. No, no, I. I always love when you do this, and I need you to do it now. Okay. Difference between being released and being waived. Oh, yeah, huge difference. Okay. Um, so, first off, let's clarify. If a player is released right now, yeah. they're actually being waived because we're after any the trade player. deadline. Any player. Veteran anytime, or... It doesn't okay. matter. Any right. player that's released tomorrow, today, whenever, since we're past the trade deadline. The Bengals have first pick. Goes against waivers, right? Okay. It's reversed. And that was because of the draft. N no, it's no. reversed. It's reverse standings order. Reverse I thought it was order. the whole year was no, draft. Reverse standings. Gotcha. Order. Okay. So I'm glad we're having this conversation. That's yeah, good. It's reverse I mean, standings. I, I was misinformed. I well, thought. that's why when who the hell just got released not that long ago? Defensive end, uh, whatever crap his name was. There was a defensive end or tackle or linebacker. I don't remember. So Atlanta, I think, released him. Vic Beasley. It was not Vic Beasley. It was somebody else. It was recently. The Sorry. Bills were third last in line to claim him off of waivers. It doesn't even... Oh, uh, Tart... Uh, Tart McKinley? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he, oh. Bills were third last to claim him off waivers because they had the third best record in them. So they were third last to get oh, so him off waivers. Okay, so I'm, I was going back to the beginning of the season. Obviously, beginning after of the season, draft, right. you're, Bengals you're absolutely right. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Absolutely right. So, so any once, player released is subjected to waivers right now. They have to go through right now. They have to go through the waiver process, and then after that, any team can pick them up. Right. Normally, before the trade deadline, if a player under four years of service is going to be kicked off the team, they're subject to waivers. Any team can pick them up. They get the contract that that player is on right now. Yes. Any player who is past four years of service is released. There's no waiver process for that. The only time that waivers kicks up now is post trade deadline, which is where we are right now. So any player that's released actually goes through waivers. Gotcha. So now that we cleared the air Thank on you that, for that. Yes. Yeah, right. Now that we cleared the air on that, right now the practice squad you're allowed to protect four players every week and protect them from being signed by another team's by another team off your practice squad. Okay. Right. 
Do you think Dane Jackson's one of them? Yes. You're damn right Dane Jackson. No, he's not. Them. He's not one of them. Why? Dane Jackson is not one of the four you protect in your practice squad because he's going on your 53. Oh, okay. But that's the thing. Uh, Dane Jackson's ineligible to come up yeah. unless a player tests positive. So in order for, because James Jackson's been called up three times. This is confusing. I know. Dane Jackson's been called up three times. Once, the most recent time, was because that didn't count, right? Yes. He's used up all his other call-ups. So yes. the only way, the only way that he can be on the active roster now is if the Bills have somebody test positive, then they can call him up. What if they put a player on the IR? No. You're telling me if they if, if they put a player on injured reserve, let's say they gotta sign him to the regular roster. They you still have to make the move. You still have to make the roster move. So yeah. this happened with um, this happened with uh, Zimmer. Okay. Um, uh, who went on the who went on the IR? Um, At the uh, time? Dodson was it? Dodson went on the IR. Yes. Somebody went on the IR and they signed Zimmer up to take his place. Right, so somebody goes on the IR that doesn't impact Dane Jackson at all. Well, you don't was Dodson three calls. games or eight? What they what they say? What they designate him as? Three. It's three. everything's three. Okay. Um. But the the fact still remains: you can't. You're not going to see Dane Jackson again until he's brought up to the 53. He should. Roster. Be. He needs to be signed to the 53. I think he does. But normally, the way that the Bills would make moves for him is they would put somebody on IR. Well, who's the most logical person to put on IR? Josh Norman. Yes. Right? He, yeah. gonna, that makes sense, right? You're going to bring up Dane Jackson, you're going to put Josh Norman on IR, swap for swap. Well, you can't though, right? Because he's already been put on IR. Exactly. So that means that if you put a player on IR for three games, then put them on IR again, which is what we talked about with the Milano scenario, they did, They wanted to use the three games wisely. Three games, not weeks, as you heard yeah. about in the previous episode. Three games, not – if you want to watch that one, it's right here. Um Three games, not weeks. So basically, they wanted to use that wisely because if you put a guy on IR twice in one season, second time is for eight games. And I don't know if you guys know this. It's not enough games left in the season. <laughs> yeah, we're past that point. We're yeah. past that point. So but you're Norman right. can't so, go on anymore. Exactly. If you put any player on the IR who's already been there, they're done for the year. That's yeah, it. you really lose the money over there. But the problem that he run into is he's sucking up a roster spot right now. Right? Yes. Whose roster spots he's taking? Dane Jackson's. That's the argument, right? Yeah. That's that's the argument. So I would imagine that the Bills are gonna have to make a dis make a decision within the next two weeks on what to do with Josh Norman. And Josh Norman's future is directly tied to Dane Jackson's. Now really? Yeah. Hmm. But hmm. same token, do you really want to be burning one of your protected practice practice squad spots on Dane Jackson the whole season? When you can only call them up if somebody tests positive. I, I, if you're, do you if, really want to do that? Now that we got through the technical issues, <laughs> the majority of the technical issues, that because there, there's a lot to absorb there's a in lot eight there. minutes. Right? That's what I mean. There's a lot there. Uh, Dane Jackson, uh, number one, I already said he should be on the 53. If it's not in the Bills' plans to put him on the 53 and you're on the practice squad, he is a guy who has shown sparks of brilliance in the time that he's been out there. Yep. He's a very physical corner, we know that. He can play man. He's not a, he's not afraid to get his nose dirty. He's like, uh, he has that Teron Johnson where I don't know if I'm the smallest guy in the fight. I'm still gonna dive, <laughs> into, I'm gonna dive into the B gap and beat this yeah. running back up. Yeah, um, he's fearless. Yeah, he is. He's fearless. But does, number one, is Dane Jackson, is, is Norman have Jackson's spot or is it Teron Johnson have Jackson's spot? That's number one. Number two, because I like that's him in the slot. That's, that's, that's why. Interesting. The second point is this: I I think you'd have to, I think you'd have to protect him, due to what he's been doing. I mean, but here's the here's the craziest part: you could IR Norman again, lose him for the rest of the year, bring Jackson up. Well, Jackson has been hurt in games already, mm -hmm. so and you're always one Teron Johnson tackle from losing him. You are. Yeah. That being said, the Bills. Brass, it seems, loves insurance policies. Mm -hmm. And Dane Jackson is a heck of an insurance policy for that second line right now. Yeah. But I think he's more valuable on the field to you than you protecting him on the practice court. Yeah, I, I'm inclined to agree with you, but I don't want to just praise Dane Jackson and pretend like he doesn't have flaws. He does have flaws. He certainly has flaws, right? He has flaws. He's not phenomenal in zone coverage, although his one interception was, was Pete's zone, 
right? Like yeah. he was peeking in zone. He did a great job, jumped the route. He's very instinctive, but that is going to hurt him at some time. There's some times where he's going to be, he's, he's going to blow his assign. He's going to blow his assign, mm -hmm. right? Um, he's not very. He's not a very big dude, right? No, like he's not. No, he's not. He's not. But like a very I said, big he doesn't know how big he is. He no. doesn't care. Yeah, he plays aggressive. Like I, I love him on the field because it allows the Bills to be more creative with their blitz fronts, which they really need to be right now. Right. So I, I love that. But I've also watched tape of Dane Jackson get like turned around the wrong way. Like basic like basic stuff. Every once in a while you'll just see a where what was why is what is he doing? Like why Which is probably why he keeps going back down on the practice squad. He he hasn't gotten it yet. And if you don't get it that's the biggest thing. If you don't get it with McDermott and Fraser, where that is their wheelhouse, mm -hmm. is a secondary, yeah. um, you, you may not be in the league very long. Right. Marlowe, we know, gets it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on with Neil. Um, obviously, the two, two headed monster back there are Poyer and Hyde. They get it. Trey gets it. Mm -hmm. They get what they're trying to do in the secondary, and I understand that. J Teron Johnson, he may get it, but he's, he's not doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless it's a run play. <laughs> There's a very big opportunity for Dane Jackson in this line. There really, I mean, there really is. There's a very big opportunity. What's to stop the Bills from putting someone on the list? Obviously, it's sneaky, and, and I don't advise it, but what's what's to say that they're not going to have a guy test for keep bringing Dane Jackson up for it? Well, that's the interesting thing is that... That's unlimited. They, they, that's unlimited. It is. It? Okay. it is unlimited, and you don't have to have a positive test to be put on Oh, you don't. You just have to be. You have to be exposed to somebody who had a positive test. Tyler Croft's a perfect example. Tyler Croft didn't have. He was. He was in direct contact with somebody who did test positive. Even though Tyler Croft was testing negative, he didn't have enough days to get in to test to have those tests I count. Did, I did not know that. Yeah. So, like, there's, it's they a really do funky. It. They it's could a, do that. Yeah. It, there's, the rules can be manipulated here without actually physically having a positive test. So the 55-man roster is now essentially 59 with the four guys you protect on the practice squad. No, wait. It could be more than that because you have the four guys you protect every week and you can call up however many guys you want anyway. Mm -hmm. right. So you're, you're 55. It's... Wow. It's a massive roster. It is. It's a it massive is. roster. If you're still a free agent right now. <laughs> yeah, right? What does that say? <laughs> Kiss your career goodbye. <laughs> we talked about Jerron Lee. It was he has to play. Ooh. Like he has to play. He has to sign with somebody. Buffalo needs linebackers. He needs to play. This is a match made in heaven because the, the necessity for him to be on the field is there. Dane Jackson right now doesn't need to be on the field. No. But is a Sean McDermott groomed corner going to be coveted by other teams? I believe so. I, the argument could be made for that. The which, argument, which, yes. which is why you need to get Dane Jackson on this roster right now. Yeah, but if, if you're not, if you don't, you still have, I like that you have the opportunity to protect four players. And I, I, I would make him one of those four to protect. Yeah, I agree with that. But we have gotten a lot of questions from Rapid Fire about the future of Dawson Knox. So, is Dawson Knox? This is another episode. This is another episode. Uh, so, is Dane Jackson's roster spot subject to the future of Dawson Knox? Because we talked about Norman already. And let's be honest, Knox is not produced for you. Let's get it.